<laughs> Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I am back with um, some new products. And I started off with the Uma by Sharon C that you can get over at Walmart as far as my foundation. I used a little bit of the Pretty Fresh uh, concealer as well to go along with that. And then as far as what I did on the face, um, I actually started out by doing some of the uh, bronzer underneath um, my foundation. So I went ahead and used the, the Beautiful Skin by Charlotte Tilbury. And I put that on a clean dry face and then I went ahead and put my foundation over it. Um, I'm well, it may be doing something here and there, but I'm not seeing like a big effect from it. So I was kind of wondering, um, since a lot of, um, yeah, a lot of the predictions for 2023 was that it was going to be a big year for highlighters to come back and a big year for contouring. And so I thought I'd, you know, get a jump on it and try some. And yeah, it may look it may look a little bit different, but I'm not seeing a huge difference there. But as far as what I used, um, as far as my blush, let me go ahead and get that. Whoa! And this is the ColourPop Cookie Cluster. I put these away, and I don't know why I put them away, because they're such fun. Um, I went ahead and used this is my blush, and then this is my highlighter. It's really nice. It's a Super Shock highlighter. So you can just, uh, you know, like use your fingers and just get some pretty highlighter on there. So um, again, this is the cookie cl cluster, and I thought it was really fun and really smart to have uh, three different shades of blush right in the same family because then depending on, you know, what you're wearing, you can go ahead and kind of match it. And the Super Shock in here is just a really good idea. And I don't know why I haven't been using these more. But anyway. <clears throat> and then as far as what I went ahead and did for the eyes, this is the Sage the Day palette, which is really, really pretty. And um, yeah, um, had a big shock when this particular color is coming off as sort of a duochrome. I don't know if I can get it to show here, but I think it actually has some green in it to tell. Yeah, it's showing up, but um, it's definitely a duochrome. It looks really cute and peachy. It has green in it. It's, yeah, uh, that was... <laughs> had no idea that that was going on, but here, I'll, I'll, right on the top, right under the brow, is where I put this shade, and here you go. Yeah, it's definitely a duochrome, peach and green, and who knew? And it looks really pretty. As far as what I did for my look, I did this in the crease, um, did a little bit of this right above the crease, uh, did this one on the inner corner, this one on the outer corner, and then this one right under the brow. And like I said, you wouldn't have ever thought that this one was actually a two. <clears throat> Hi, so I'm back. I got some swatches here at the palette, and it's all very sagey, very pretty. Um, and like I said, that peach duochrome was just completely a surprise. And I just really like the way that it's giving a really pretty green shimmer right under the brow there. So, um, yeah, that's kind of the way that the look worked or turned out today. Um, as far as what else I'm wearing, I am wearing the Superhero Mascara by IT Cosmetics. And... Um, I think that's, oh, yeah, I put a little bit of the Hourglass bronzer here, um, right, yeah, I bronzed a little bit with that because what I had done under the makeup wasn't really showing up, and then I used this as my all-over powder, so I think that's just about all that um, I did with this look, but again, I think it's really pretty.
and these greens and how they blend together are really, yeah, this is a really good palette. And I would definitely go ahead and recommend it. It's very, very pretty. So have a good day.